Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to look at collector portal. And to do so, just click on go to portal over here in your desktop application. That would redirect you to collector.nutanix.com. To use collector portal, you need to be registered via My Nutanix. I am already registered on My Nutanix, so I am going to click login. So here we are in the collector portal. So on the left pane, you can see all the options, menu items, and in the summary, you can see an option to upload your collection file, create a project, and download collect. So we are going to see how we can create a new project. So I'm going to click on create, and I'm going to name this demo project and say upload a new collection file and navigate to the collection file that we just generated. I'm going to click open and say create. So here you see that we are able to generate the exact same view that we saw on the desktop application over here in the portal. And you can see that we have the same three clusters, rather the data centers and the clusters within them. And we see the cluster summary, the host summary, the VM summary, and along with the VM summary, we also see a VM list tab. So we'll get into the VM list tab a little later. Uh, but a quick view to show that we have the same data over here. We have the configuration data of the CPU, memory, and raw storage. And we have the seven day performance data over here uh, CPU utilization, memory, disk, and network utilization. And, and you can see the same across the host, the config, and the performance data, and the VMs. So, one thing to notice here is that there is an additional panel over here, which talks about the VM provisioning status. Basically, it tells if the VM is under-provisioned, over-provisioned, or is it right-sized or normal. Since majority of the VMs are switched off in this instance, so you see that 90% of the VMs, uh, we don't know the provisioning status. We'll, we'll walk into the details of this VM provisioning status in another video, and you can also see the guest details, right? And then you have an additional tab over here called the VM list, which displays all the VMs and their respective attributes, configuration, as well as performance. So the default view is the configuration view, but you can also switch to performance view to see what is the 95th percentile utilization of the CPU, what is the peak, average, median, and the same for memory. Basically, you get the exact same view that you saw on desktop application. And now you can share this project with your peers or Nutanix experts to collaborate further to understand your environment and how to go about sizing.